Morning everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I know we're not normally here on Wednesdays, but I've got to go um, away tomorrow. So I thought I'd quickly pop up and tell you about our sale that we've got going on. So we are not at the cake show this weekend. Um, we are not going to the cake show. So what we thought we would do is we didn't want you to miss out on any cake show offers that we have normally. When we're there and we're exhibiting, we usually put a bundle deal on for you guys. And we also put up for the flavoured icing sugars. And we also put a bundle deal on for the nozzles. So what we've done is we've launched a sale on our flavoured icing sugars. Now, we have about 36 flavours available. So you can buy those on there. They've now been reduced to £2 a pack. And that is until this Sunday, which I believe is the 7th of April. And when I say I believe, it's because I can't think. Is that the 7th of <laughs> April, Laura? <laughs> Just double check. So to yeah. the 7th of April, midnight, okay? Um, and then when that will finish then. End of. Don't message me on Monday. If you haven't done it, you've missed out. Um, if you were at the show, you would only have Thursday, Friday and Saturday to buy. But we're doing it so you've got plenty of time. We launched it on Monday, so many of you have gone crazy about it. So those sugars are on, are in the sale now until Sunday midnight. After midnight, end of. We're back to normal. We need to make some profit, guys. Okay? I'm also putting the nozzles in the sale, or I have put the nozzles in the sale. And they're down to £2 each for the large. Okay? And the extra large, I think, are 2 75 if I've not amended them, do tell me and I'll amend them for you. But I'll double check afterwards that I've amended them all. So what I thought I would do is, is I would show you about these mini cases. So we have a full range of mini cupcake cases. I like to call them my diet cakes. And they're basically, they're a perfect size. You know what, two bites and they're gone. So if you're on a diet, rather than a massive big one, um, we've got these on sale. So I wanted to tell you about these. We've got them in different colours. So we've got them in white and reds, black, red and greens. That's it. There. Should I go to this camera? No, it's all right. I can see you. Okay. Uh, we've got them in red and blacks. They're great fun. There's a hundred in a packet. And can you believe how much they are? One pound forty nine. So don't don't worry, and you don't need a special tin, just your normal tin. We do them in black and pink, black and white. And we've also got them in this lovely orange green. So they're foils, okay? Uh, Laura's doing hand signals behind. <laughs> so they're foils, but these are mini foils. And I wanted to show them to you because so many people keep asking me, are they for the petty fours? So no, they're too big for petty fours. But they're great for children, so children's size, and they're great for you guys who are on a diet, diet size. <laughs> so we're gonna use those. I also want to tell you about this new product that's coming, okay? Now, on Monday night, we have Catalina Angel. She's from Spain. She's in on Monday, and she's going to be using this fabulous new product. Now, it's not new in Spain. It's new here in the UK. We are the UK distributor. It's not in white, because it's got no color in. It's in a neutral color. Okay, it's basically the color of the sugar. And it's a new petal paste. So it rolls very, very thin, okay? So thin, it's almost translucent. The good thing is when you roll it, um, you can actually munch it back up again and it breaks up like paper, but just keep molding it in your hands and then um, it will go back into its original form. Now, Angelina, uh, Catalina Angelina, I've got this terrible thing, she's called Catalina Angel. I call her Angelina Angel. Don't know why. <laughs> Something that goes on in my brain, do screw with. So she is actually going to show you how to make a couple of flowers. Um, by hand, so no cutters, no nothing, just moulding by hand. And she's going to tell you a story on how she came about doing this. So on Monday, on Monday's live, you won't hear, believe it or not, Laura and I saying a lot, because we want Catalina to explain her story to you, how she came to be making these flowers, and, um, and she's gonna show you how to put them together on a wire as well, okay? So this is, um, 100% edible as well, but when you make them into sugar flowers, you don't generally eat them. Now, I have sent them out to some great people to test them, and I'll give you their feedback, and I'll send you some of their images. Uh, I'll post up some images of what they have to say. Mm -hmm. So there's a very, very good feedback. I've only had one negative feedback so far. Um, 
but the most of it is positive, which is great. So we'll do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to crack on and show you how to make these buns. Um, I wasn't going to make buns actually, but then I thought, you're going to ask me how to make them, aren't you? So I gave Laura the recipe this morning. It's a basic sponge recipe. We all know it. It's the one that I did at school. And Laura made these. She's so chuffed to herself. She was dying. Aren't you, Laura? Yeah. By the way, Laura and Shelley are in the kitchen. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi. <laughs> so Laura was dying because if she mucked them up, she knew she'd be in trouble. She wouldn't really, but she was dying in case they went wrong. So Laura made these this morning. So Laura, how are we doing with an audience now? Fantastic. Um, just a couple of, uh, just firstly, hello to everybody. Yeah. Um, lots of people very excited for the sale. So good morning to everyone that's tuned in. We really appreciate it. We know it's a bit of a random day and time, um, but we are here as always. And like, uh, there's a couple of people said they can't watch the whole live, which is fine. You can catch up when we're finished and the whole thing will be copied on, will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and also transferred over to YouTube. So just to address a couple of the questions, the sale runs through until Sunday. It's on all of the flavoured ice and sugar, so all flavours are included in the 500 gram bags. And it's on all of the range of the nifty nozzles, the large and the extra large, whatever we've got available in stock. There will be no more apple crumble or toffee apple available. They've now been discontinued. They're classed as a seasonal flavour and we can only run them for so long. So they will not be in stock before Sunday, Sarah. Um, so just in case you're holding out for them, just get your order in because there's no more of them, unfortunately. Um, I don't expect us to run out of any other flavour, so everything is in production and we will be topping up the stock levels as we go along through till Sunday. But we need you to buy them. Absolutely. Because there's new flavours. Ta-da! You we can't, can't see them yet. <laughs> but we can't put them on sale until you buy this lot. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> you're Not going to have someone pausing that and zooming in. <laughs> Sorry, shock it. <laughs> You've even got the new stickers ready. <laughs> um, Jeanette Foster, the light green tulip cases, we are desperately trying to get from the supplier and they're right. constantly out of stock. <laughs> yes, the light green tulip cases. I actually spoke to the supplier last night who profusely, profusely, I'm not, I don't know whether that's right Apologise, apologise, apologise. I've actually paid for them. They're on back order. But they've been promising and they've got several suppliers waiting for them as well. But their manufacturer, where they get them from, has actually not made them. They're sending them through, but they've just not made the... I think what happens is when they make them into the tulip wraps, where they buy the paper from, they've not made the light green paper so they can actually make them into the wrap. So he was so apologetic, he actually doesn't know when I'm going to get them. So we're sorting out a credit back to me so I can buy some other ones because I've not placed another order yet because I'm still waiting for these to come in. So I think we're going to have to live with dark green ones. Yeah, good. Right, let's get this cake mix on the run and then um, and then uh, we can get on with, with yes. the cream. So the first thing in the mix is we're doing a six ounce mix, basic mix. I'm sure all of you know how to make cupcakes, but there's always newbies who are never really sure. And when you're making a cake mix, can I just tell you, use any recipe that you want. If it's your granny's favorite, then use your granny's favorite. You don't have to use mine. If you like the all-in-one method, which Laura actually uses, then do the all-in-one method. It's what works for you. And there's no rules in cake decorating and cake making, you know. It's what works for you. So watch different people and then try different things and see what works for you. Because what works for Laura may not work for Shelley or may not work for myself. And that's how it goes. We're using stalk margarine. You don't have to use stalk. And I realise you may not be able to get it in other countries as well. But my, my preferred one is stalk. So I have used that all the time. And I use it because my granny always used it. You know, so we always... We always go back to our childhood, don't we? If I just give the camera a nice knock. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try and get out of the way. So, um, so we're just using this one. Okay. Then we are using flavoured icing sugar. So the flavoured icing sugar of choice today is vanilla fudge. Now, I know you lot may laugh. But so I don't get a chance to always taste the flavours. So I taste them when I make them and then I taste them again if we're making something else and then I don't taste them again. But my goodness, <laughs> earlier on in the year, I tasted banana split. Uh, what was the other one we tasted? Um, toasted marshmallow. Yeah. What was the other one? A couple of random ones that I hadn't tasted for a long time. They were divine. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. Why have I not been eating banana split? Well, let me tell you now. This one, I have not tasted in God knows how long. I've just decided to use it because I've put up a veering about salty caramel. I have to tell you, put this in your shopping basket. 
This is nicer than salty caramel. <laughs> it is amazing. It really is. Honestly, I can't believe how nice it is. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I'm truly shocked. So, you can use caster sugar. Of course you can use caster sugar. But we like to use our flavoured icing sugars just to give our bun a little bit more flavour. So, we're popping in. Ooh, that's flour. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go get that out of there. Let me just get that out a minute. See, this is what happens when you go live. You don't know what's going to go wrong. <laughs> I've just thrown in the flour there. So let me just put in the butter out then. That's great. Let's get that back on there. Oh, oh yes, yeah. that was lucky, wasn't it? Sarah Morsley said vanilla fudge has gone into my Swiss roll this morning. Oh, nice. Well, tell her when she tastes it as a buttercream, yeah. she is going to die. She's going to love it. Honestly, it's amazing. So I'll show you the correct product. I bet you was wondering why it was looking a bit of a browner color. Brown. I was looking at it, it was a bit funny. <laughs> so, um, so vanilla fudge, and it smells divine. So we're just going to pop that in there. Six ounces. And as I say, you can use the caster sugar if you wish. Yeah? So then we're going to put our mixer down. And we'll just get that on. I'm going to beat that till it's nice and fluffy, okay? And then the other thing that we're going to do is crack three eggs. So three eggs into the bowl. I don't weigh my eggs, but you know there's some people who swear by it, and that's not wrong at all. You know, if you... He's an hard egg. <laughs> <laughs> if you weigh eggs, carry on weighing eggs. There's no right or wrong, okay? And some people won't change. You know, don't change your recipe. That, that's what I was going to say to you. If you've got a recipe and it works for you, don't change it. Okay, because I don't want you crying when my recipe doesn't work. Because um, <laughs> that's what can happen. But believe me, it really is what you get used to. Yeah. yeah? Now, some people sometimes, um, they use the flavoured icing sugar and something will go wrong and they'll blame it on the flavoured icing sugar. You can't blame it on the flavoured icing sugar. The ice and sugar is sugar, okay? So there'll be something else that you've done wrong in your mix. The one thing you'll notice is I don't add any baking powder uh, to my mix. I'm gonna use self-raising flour. So in my opinion, I don't need to add any more baking powder. And baking powder can make them go all bubbly, crisp, crispy. If you put too much sugar in, okay, that can make them go bubbly and crispy. Crisp, crispy. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether you use ice and sugar caster sugar or even granulated sugar. What's important is the ingredients must be exact. So if it's six ounces, it's six ounces, not six and a half ounces, especially with the sugar, because that is what crystallizes. So we've just got this on, let's work it up, work it up a bit more. And anybody who's new, okay, what goes on in the sugar and crumbs kitchen stays in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. So if you see me touch your hair, don't worry about it because these cakes are not going out for sale, okay? The only people who can eat these is Laura, Maria, Shelley, myself, and the lads in the warehouse, and they don't care. No panic. So just to recap, um, this is a six ounce mix. So it's six ounces of everything and it's three eggs. And um, the recipe will be put onto the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up website. It's already there. Um, our flavour of choice for the icing sugar is vanilla fudge, but you can use any flavour you want. It's personal choice. Or, like we said before, you don't actually have to use flavoured icing sugar. Of course, it just mixed cupcakes, cupcakes a little bit different. So can you see how nice and soft that is now? Yeah. Now, the thing with using the flavoured icing sugar is it makes your batter really nice, silky and smooth. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's, it really is lovely. So you've got none of those grainy bits yeah. in there. And a lot of you do do it. Um, the other thing is as well, use the mixture at full strength, okay? Do not dilute the mixture for your cake mix. Do remember, it doesn't matter whether you use flavoured icing sugar or liquid essence, you will lose 50% in the bake off. It's like when you put alcohol in, you put alcohol in, flavours it, but it burns the alcohol off. And that's exactly the same with flavouring. So you must put it in full strength. Yeah. <coughs> 
I just got to say hi to my nephew. He's off school today, poorly, but he's watching. He's well enough to watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hi, George. <laughs> I wondered why my mum's name popped up and I was very confused. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So I'm just going to pop an egg in, okay? So we'll pop one egg in. We're just going to pop one egg in at a time. Have you see the three eggs there? Yep. So we're just going to pop one egg in at a time. We're going to incorporate that. That's incorporated. Pop another one in. Because some of you might like to throw all three eggs in at once. Again, if that's what works for you, it works for you. But I just put one in at a time. So I make sure it's fully incorporated. There's the third one. Now you don't need to add any flavouring because the flavoured icing sugar is flavoured. Um, if you're not using flavoured icing sugar, it's at this point now that you need to add your liquid essence in, okay? And how much of that you add is entirely up to you. Um, I'm not going to recommend anything because I only use the flavoured sugars, yeah? Got a few comments that the mix is very quiet. Yes, <laughs> my new mixer, how quiet it is. It's lovely, isn't yeah. it? So, uh, nice little gift comes my way on Valentine's Day. So, uh, really very, very pleased with it. Um, it's a Kenwood Chef, it's a 4.5 litre, and I can't remember what other names it's got with it, but <laughs> what I do like is this light, look at that. Yeah, I like that, yeah. I know this is a feature. Get, it's got a gizmo here, I've got another attachment on, I'm not sure what this is, oh that goes for attachments on the top as well, <laughs> but I haven't got all the other attachments, maybe, you never know, I might get all the other attachments yeah. one day, <laughs> so I'll have to have a look to see what there is and then buy a few of the other attachments, but it is lovely and quiet. But what I will tell you about this is, one of the things I really like about this is I like this uh, attachment here. Uh, so yeah. let's turn this off now because this is ready. Okay, so this is ready. Um, what I like is, is this, look how this slides in so lovely. Yeah, that. that's really How nice is that? And there it is, back on again. And it's, you know, you know I'm a fan of the KitchenAids. I love the KitchenAids, but I love them for the look and the colour. Okay, the actual performance of each KitchenAid, it doesn't matter how much you pay for them, they're all the same. You pay for colour, you don't pay for the performance. The thing I like about the Kenwood Chef, and again, my granny had one of these as well, and I've always had my eye on one, is that the performance of these is magnificent. Okay, everything about them is solid, constructed well, nothing's going to fall off, no dangly bits off the KitchenAid's going to drop into your mix. And I have a problem with the bolt on the KitchenAid. It comes loose if you if you mix too long, and then before you know it, you got a very loose top of the head. So um, I'm sure Pit Kitchen Aid will not be happy about what I've got to say to them, but I have messaged them and told them personally, and never had a response. So if you don't get a response, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Maybe they might be watching this live and they might respond now and deal with some of the issues. Right. So here we go. You know how I am, I'm very vocal. I've got no one sponsoring me or looking after me, so therefore I can say what I like. So, uh, anyhow, here's our mix. So you see, there's our mix there. Now, if your mix curdles, mine hasn't curdled, but sometimes it does, okay? And again, when I was talking about the eggs, I don't weigh the eggs either, okay? I know some of you do, I think I said that before. Um, but if your mix curdles, when it curdles, just put in a spoonful of your weighed out flour already, and then put that in just to take the curdle away because a lot of us just don't like it. It won't affect your mix at all. So we're gonna pop in the flour. And we don't need the mixer anymore now. And all we're gonna do is, is fold in. So you're not mixing, you're folding in. It's very important you do fold in, okay? If you do want to mix, don't give it any, don't give it any more than 20 seconds, okay? Even Mary Berry tells you that as well. <laughs> so 20 seconds if you do want to put it in on the mixer. So I'm going to give Shelley a little job in a minute. She's going to love this one, Shelley. <laughs> she's got work to do. You'll be wondering why Maria's not here today. We're training Shelley about the Facebook Lives. And to be fair, I don't want them to film anything today. I want to do some proper filming. Um, of videos for the nifty nozzles but without it being alive so that the girls can get the cameras set up properly for some videos for you so I don't need Maria to film today so she's but she was in here before
but she's gone back into her office and she's working in there. And Shelley doesn't really need to be here, but she's never actually sat down and been able to watch them all live, have you, Shelley? So we thought we'll get her working, sorting out these uh, bun cases. So she's going to be really chuffed in a minute. Now, there's one extra ingredient that I add here, okay? And I add <coughs> a tablespoon of cooled boil boiled water. Some of you may want to add milk. Some of you may not want to bother at all, okay? But it's meant to make them lighter, your cakes, okay? So don't put in any more than a tablespoon on six ounces. So this is a six ounce mix, remember? So no more than a tablespoon. Imogen Davison's watching and she just says she's looked at her KitchenAid and the bowl is really far out. She's never noticed. How on earth do I get it back in? Well, right. <laughs> I can tell you because I, I yeah. am a specialist at it. On your KitchenAid, you have the stand and then you have the head and the bolt comes out. And a lot of times you don't notice. And the very first time I didn't notice. So you need to support the head, which is quite heavy. OK, so you need to lift it, support the head and push it in. And we actually have a, a rubber hammer, hammer in yeah. here. I don't know where it is, actually. No, we actually use uh, a hammer. I think it's down there. But I, I have a hammer in here, which I bang it in with. So uh, it's not really good, really. But um, having said that, will I buy another KitchenAid? Absolutely. <laughs> but it will be because of colour. They brought a new one out, another colour, and I was so eager to press the magic button the other day. <laughs> but thankfully, there was no money in my PayPal account, so I couldn't afford it. Because if they had been, it would have been, I would have had one. I think they bought one of the bowl out with flowers on. Ridiculous, really, isn't it? Right, okay, so Shelly, let me just, uh, I'm gonna start you off, Shelly, so we'll be watching now what we're gonna do, because mm -hmm. you're gonna finish this. Yeah. Just let me get some spoon because I'll just one minute. Right, I'm gonna get some spoon because I'll just one minute. So as we said, all of the flavoured icing sugars, um, are all in the sale at the moment, £2 a bag on the Sugar and Crumbs website and they'll be in the sale until Sunday at midnight. Um, along with all of the missing nozzles that we've got in stock, so that includes the large and the extra large. Um, anyone who's missed any part of the live so far or can't stay with us for the whole session, you can watch back when we've finished. It will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and we'll also transfer over to YouTube as well. Um, Easiest way to find us on YouTube is to just search for Sugar and Crumbs and Nifty Nozzles and then there's a little option that says so subscribe. Then you will receive notifications when we create new videos or any of the one minute videos that relate to the previous Facebook Lives as well. So then you can go back, you can watch anything that we've done previously, there's no time limit, everything is on there. Um, and similarly as well, with the recipes, all the recipes that we've done on Facebook Live, they're all on the recipe website as well. We never take them off. Um, just head over to sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com and you'll find everything that we've previously done, including today's recipe. We can actually afford for somebody to proofread them all now. <laughs> it's me and my daughter, Laura, who puts the recipes on. And uh, we're not, I'm not the best speller. And she throws everything on that fast that she doesn't always check everything. So you'll see that I'm using these mini tulip cases. Yeah, look at yeah. them, little baby ones. And we do them in a dark brown and this caramel color. And then we've also got these lovely little lotus cases as well. So we're gonna use those, we're gonna use the minis, and they just go in your normal pan. So you don't need a special pan for them, okay? And then I'm just going to pop in the mixture, and then I'm gonna hand it over to Shelly to finish off. She's coming round here to take my space, but she isn't because I need to be here. So I will bum Shelly over there when I've given these. So I like to fill my cake mixes up two thirds. So I might go back in a minute and put a bit more in. So I'll just do these because Shelly can set up another tray. So Shelly, grab that tray there next to Laura, over there. Okay. And I'll do the rest Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, Catalina being here next week. Then the week after, um, I'm going over to do a class with Paul Bradford. And uh, so on the 15th of um, April, we are actually doing a live with Paul Bradford as well on Monday the 15th. So we're not sure yet whether we're going to use the nifty nozzles or we're going to do a model and nifty nozzles or whether I'm going to show Paul how to use nifty nozzles or whether Paul's going to go on his own. We'll see how tired I am after his class because <laughs> I'm doing a two-day class with him as well, which I'll show you on the Monday night what we've made, 
How Laura, Maria and I are going to get these two cakes home, we have no idea, <laughs> okay? No idea at all, but, and I don't know what easy jet is going to think when we've got these two big boys sat on our knee, because they're massive, <laughs> they're massive. And I can't actually put them as luggage because I really don't want to be putting my cake through luggage. So, Shelley, have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, so you're doing exactly the same, two thirds okay. full, yeah. yeah. They're going to go in the oven. They're going to go in the oven for about 12 minutes, okay? After 12 minutes, check them. They should be done. Try not to leave them 20. They'll be overdone, yeah? I bake on a 140, um, depending on your ovens. My ovens are actually um, three years old, these ovens, but they only get used in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. So we only use them maybe once a week, um, if we're lucky, once a week, sometimes twice or three times a month. Um, so they're still quite new and therefore the heat is, is really well on them. But if it's your everyday oven, which it will be at home, you might have to notch it up a little bit. Yeah. So I'll pop these in the oven now. So Shelley, your second oven is next to you there. So these are going in at 11.26. You watch what time yours are going in. There's those. Let's give you that. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm just going to wet this cloth a moment. Get rid of these here and then I'm back. We've got a few new people watching with us today. So mm -hmm. hi to everyone that's watching. Thanks for joining us. Um, so for anyone who is new that's new to the lives, we are Sugar and Crumbs. We have our website where you can purchase everything that we're using today. Um, and need to we do to Facebook it, Live on a Monday evening at 8 p.m. And we used to do a Facebook Live on a Thursday morning at 11 a.m. However, we've just simply not had time to do it over the last few months. Um, we're very, very busy. Obviously, we run the website, a full warehouse and production. We actually manufacture all of the flavoured icing sugar ourselves. All with a very small team, I Yes, think. very small company and we all work very hard. A, a Carol is the hardest working person, I think. We all know that. <laughs> no, we, I'm telling you how hard I work. <laughs> we seriously, all know that. No, seriously, every person at Sugar and Grums works hard. Really, there's no lazy ones out there. They're all working hard because they want this company to survive. Yeah. They want it to do well. We're trying to offer the best customer services we can. You know, we do upset a couple of people. We try not to. Um, <laughs> most of it is usually courier related. Um, I'm not very good with customer services when people scream and shout at me. At the end of the day, I don't scream and shout at anybody. So if you want to scream and shout at me, my customer services, don't. I'm not speaking to you. So you speak to me politely and I'm like putty in. I'm not putty, I'm dead easy to deal with. But our customer services is really very good. Laura does a brilliant job looking after the trade, looking after customer services, and looking after running the warehouse with James, who's Maria's, bo uh, Maria's boyfriend, <laughs> I say, Maria's brother. And then all the rest of the warehouse staff are absolutely brilliant. Everybody's totally focused about sugar and crumbs. So we have a small team, I think there's 14 of us. Um, I think there's 16 when me and John can never remember sometimes. But, um, Anyhow, we work hard, but we have to do everything. So that's from building the website, to getting the products on, getting the products photographed, to getting them out to you, to doing Facebook Lives. And we try and do as much as we can. Adding the recipes to the web website with our spelling mistakes as well. <laughs> but we've now got a lady who's working from home, proofreading them for us. So, uh, cling film, all right? So after Monday's live, I'm gonna deal with the cling film issue first. I will not be running down to the sea and throwing this in the sea. It will go in my normal bin. As it happens, cling film is not recyclable. Recyclable. It will go in my black bin. As a professional person, I do throw my rubbish away properly. I actually have three bins in both kitchens and we have a cardboard bin, a plastic bin, and the normal refuse bin, okay? So I am not a silly person about recycling okay so let's not talk about that again and let's not let me go in on with my rant i was really very cross on monday as some of you saw so a lot of lots of you want to know how to use that do the clean fill method one of the things that you can do with this method is make far too much you, you make this massive big sheet and you put sugar uh, the buttercream all over it and then you end up with this giant bag so you really can't do it too big okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little square and we're just going to spread it out and not a square actually a little oblong thing you can actually put it in a piping bag as well and pipe out stripes 
but we're doing this so that you've got three colours, okay? But if you wanted stripes, you could put all the colours in a piping bag, do one stripe, another stripe, another stripe of different colours, okay? So this is all we're going to do. So this is about four inches by six inches, I think it is. Would you think, Laura? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Don't make it too thick. I've made this mistake myself. I had a lady in the class last summer on one of my Nifty Nozzles classes, and she did this whole thing. And I let her carry on, because I did say to her, less is more. She wasn't listening to me. And, um, and then she couldn't get it in the piping bag. So you use the next colour. They're going in the oven, Shelley. Yeah, yeah. Right, Shelley, I need you to wash that bowl yeah. and the attachment that I put in the sink, dry them, and they're coming back on this mixer. Okay. Thank you very much. So the next colour, you'll see that we're just going over, yeah? So we're going to take it to the end, but we're not going to the sides. So if you like playing, you can do it this way, it's great, but I don't always have time to do it this way. But people who struggle getting the colours together like to do it this way. And then we're going to put in, should we put in orange or red? We'll put in orange. And then we're going to do exactly the same again with the orange. So again, just a thin coat, top to bottom. I'll show you how to do it in a bag as well. Just while you're finishing that, um, there's a couple of questions about classes. We are located very near Manchester. Uh, we, um, we're based, the shop, not the shop, sorry, the warehouse is in Breadbury. So for anyone who is local to us, you can do a click and collect order. But do you explain where they can come in, you, Laura? You do need to do your order on the website first and choose the click and collect option. We are a production warehouse, so we can't have anyone who's popping up if you're in the area and have a look around. Unfortunately, we're not a shop. So you do have to place your order online with us first and then you can feel free to collect from us. We're only open weekdays between 7 and 3, but if you've got any questions, just give us a call beforehand. Our classes are based in Stockport, so we are very close to Manchester, so Manchester Piccadilly train station and Stockport train station is the closest. Again, if you've got any questions, give us a call or pop us an email over and we'll answer them. But all the information about the classes and hotels that are close by, transport, etc. is all on the website. So the easiest way to find that is go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to shop by brand, classes, and all the information is there for you. She's so good, isn't she? <laughs> See, I would have got that all backwards, forwards, and all over the place. This is why she's so good. Um, the reason we can't let you in the warehouse, because lots of customers used to come, is that we, we don't actually have enough car parking space for one, for customers. Um, and the other tenants get a little bit unhappy if we've got too many cars outside. But the biggest thing now is our warehouse has grown so big, it's so full, we've got nothing priced in there. So everything's labelled up, but nothing's priced. But the biggest thing is we actually manufacture there as well. And because we manufacture there, there's a lot of machinery there, there's a lot of forklift trucks. We've now got this mezzanine with stairs in, we're having a new staircase built to go on top of our office, so that we've got another mezzanine over there that's being built this weekend. We've got a whole load of stuff going on there. And basically, if anybody tripped or fell, we would be in serious trouble. And that's why we can't let anybody in. But if you do come to it, to us and you do a click and collect, and then if you call us and say, look, I didn't throw this in my basket because I want to look at it first, the office will get it for you and they'll have it all ready and you can have a look at it. And then if you decide you want to buy it, just add it to your click and collect. That's how we work, yeah? Super. Right, so you can see that the way that we've done this. Can you see this clearly in the yeah, flora? Yeah. So we pick up our cling film, and the reason this is here is because we are going to roll it over to there, yeah? So that those two colours merge together, and then we're going to just push it in. And then we're going to roll it over again, and we're going to make ourselves a nice little sausage, yeah? We're going to twist it. So this is, some people find this a really easy way. And the other good thing about doing this is if you do it this way as well, you can drop it in and out of bags with different nozzles. So let's get the scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna, now make sure you chop off there, yeah? Don't try and chop off the end, because if you leave any in, what will happen is, is that um, it will get caught up in the front of the nozzle and then it won't squeeze out, yeah? So can you see the color coming yeah, through? Yeah, yeah. 
The other thing is, I have seen this very cleverly done on YouTube, but you can't do it with nifty nozzles, where you thread through. Ah, right, okay. You thread that through, there. Don't do it. Basically, you thread that through there, pull the tube, cut it off, and then pull the colour through. The only one that will work on is, sorry, I'm looking at that camera. Right. The only one that will work on is the 2D, the 1M, and um, the round, the round ones. It won't work on these, there's too much detail on them. So we're gonna pop our nozzle in the back. Um, I don't actually want to use that one because, uh, yeah, I do want to use that one. Sorry. I'm using the May Tulip, I'm gonna use it twice today because I'm gonna show you the way I color, yeah? So, can you see on that? Yeah, there. perfect. So you see this, this bag here, it's got a seam. So I like to cut the bag so it's there. So I don't know whether you can see. Yeah. You see it's cut? Yeah. Push the nozzle back. That's the end of that nozzle. <laughs> right, good job I've got another one. So now I'll just grab that one with a bit of wash. So there you go, let's get that. The other thing as well, when you're cutting these, make sure that these little bits when you're cutting them off you do throw them in your rubbish because when you've got buttercream and you're mixing it up then sometimes the um, buttercream um, it gets muddled up back in your buttercream and you find a little piece stuck in your tube again thanks Laura for doing that for me right. right okay so we've now got this and we're now going to drop this into the bag so can you see that it's going to drop inside yep. the nozzle yeah and then we're going to squeeze. I'm going to use this. So let's get some cupcakes. Sorry, you've got a flash of my arm then. Did we? Right. So let's get some cupcakes and let's get um, what colour we're using on there. So we're using a variety of colours today. We are using these colours. But we're using the sunflower yellow, which is this really vibrant yellow from Colour Splash. We're using the orange. From fractal colors uh the lime green albeit i only gave it a tiny little bit of lime green we're using the claret yes the claret there this is the vivid red you can put more red in if you want to and what else have we got there oh we're using the green the vivid green see how vivid that is can't you yeah yeah and i didn't use the purple i don't know i was going to use it but mm. didn't in the end Right, okay, let's do this. So we're keeping an eye on those cakes. How long have they been in there for? Uh, about seven minutes. Super. So let's get a little bit of uh, buttercream. Oh, oh, that's good. You're saying that was surprise, shall I? <laughs> okay. Yours are rising nicer than mine. <laughs> yeah. Yours have only just gone in. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll open one of these buns afterwards so you can see them. So when you're crumb coating your cakes, okay, don't do any more than two or three at once, all right? If you do any more than two or three at once, all they'll do is, is they will crust over. Um, Leslie, we don't sell the pink workboard um, that Carol's using. It's actually no. a glass, um, this board. one. It's, it's not... Um, the same as the green ones that we previously used on the lives. So this is actually a glass worktop. Um, so just, and we, we don't sell it at Sugar and Crumbs. We don't just sell it because I'm frightened of posting them out. Yeah. And they're breaking. I ordered this one off Amazon and I have to be honest, I was scared to death when it arrived. And it came in that much packaging. I can totally understand why they sent it in that much packaging because if it breaks, I'm gonna want a new one, aren't I? So um, it made me realise I don't want to sell them. I don't want the responsibility of you all having a cracked one because, you know, suppliers won't give you the money back when they, when they arrive broken. Right, so we've got our nozzle there. So with our cupcake, we're just going to sit the nozzle on top of the cake. We're going to squeeze. Are you the, am I the right height? Yeah. Or a squeeze, relax, and we're off. Squeeze, relax, and we're off. Squeeze, relax, and we're off. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. I'm going to show you how to make the buttercream. 
So do you like this one? Beautiful. Those yeah. colours are gorgeous. So did I fill the bag with the green in? I did. Oh, here we go. I did do the green. So I've two-toned the green in my leaf tip as well. And you'll see my leaf tip there, it's got a little mouth, yeah? Don't lie it down, because if you lie it down, you get this funny, strange leaf, yeah? <laughs> we actually want it mouth open. Yeah? And you can do leaves as big as you want. We don't want any of these things, <laughs> or we don't want any of those, yeah? We want... little leaves. Yeah. Put them? Yeah. Right, okay, let's put them in there. So try not to do cupcakes without leaves. I do comment if you don't put leaves on them. Leaves finish it off, okay? You may think they look great, but you really do need leaves. And it's like going out with your best dress on and a pair of trainers. You haven't finished it off. Just put the leaves on. It really does help. And don't put too many on. Just a few. That's all you need. Less is more. Yeah. There we go, cupcake number one. And we'll do this. Now these are the large nozzles. Everybody always sort of like, has, when the first time they get these, they think, oh my God, they're massive. I only want these to go on cupcakes. Well, these have just gone on cupcake and they've gone on a mini cupcake as well. So your normal size cupcake, you'll get seven on. And on the mini one, you'll get five on. So let me just show you on the little mini foils. So one, two, three, four, Oh, we're going to get more on. Five, six. There you go. You see? Yep. So it's quite nice that two tone in that way, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, Shireen, we always do a crumb coat if we're using the nifty nozzles because it's basically what the other buttercream adheres to. If you don't put any buttercream on that sponge, the, the, the buttercream that's in the nozzle has got nothing to stick to. It's yeah. really important. And can I just say, we're not talking about copy nozzles here, okay? These are the original nozzles. So all the people who watch me normally know that I'm going to go off on my little rant again. But I have to. I, brands are very important. When somebody thinks of a brand, okay, or they think of a design, or they think of a new product, there's investment, okay? The gentleman that I'm supporting is called Alexander Levada. He lives in Russia. You may not care about him. You may not care who he is. But what he did bring to the market was this design. And you need to remember that. He brought this, he made life easy for you to make flowers on cupcakes, for those of you who can do it, okay? Since then, China have copied them, and I'm very angry about that, as China copies lots of things. Don't get me wrong with China, China makes loads of wonderful things. I've got an iPhone, it was made in China, but that was made via Apple over there with a registered factory. What I don't like is when you get people buying off um, Chinese websites, or off eBay, or even off Amazon, who have a lot of copies on there, you believe you're buying them from a genuine buyer, and you're actually going to get a Chinese copy. And basically, you're just ripping off the original manufacturer. The original manufacturer, Alexander, is just like myself. He's normal, with a wife, three kids, and a house and a mortgage to pay for. Try and support him. So Nifty Nozzles is the brand, and that's the only ones I'm going to comment on. Okay, so let's get another nozzle out and um, I've got my nozzles here ready just to show you some different effects. And um, the leaf tip Carol's used today is a Wilson 352. Um, I will show you a close up of the leaves in a moment. I know Carol does them very quickly. <laughs> yes, so I will. we will do a close up. I'll do, I'll do the some next close ups one. in a minute. So, this one here, we're just going to put three little flowers on. So, because we're going to put three on, because it's a mini cake and it's a diet cake and we don't want all that buttercream on. When I say it's a diet cake, that's my joke by the way. There's nothing diet about this cake. It's just a smaller size. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sit that on the cake. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. And then we're going to put the leaves in. And you know what? Sometimes less is more. Yeah? So we've got that one. Put a few more leaves on there because I've got quite a bit of buttercream on on the side. So 
you can make them as pretty as you want to make them. So that one there is called Jasmine. Right, okay. So let's talk about this coupler. Because lots of you ask me about couplers. Now this coupler, any of you who've got this one will realise it's a complete waste of money. You should never have bothered buying it. And I did try to tell you, okay? This is when China was trying to bring out something. They flogged at you, okay? And I think everyone will have one in the cupboard, either purple or whatever colour it is. They're a waste, seriously, they're a complete waste of time. So let's take it apart. How long are those cakes been in? Yeah, Shelley, you need to check them. Have to be watching them. I am, yeah. Um, <clears throat> should be done. Yeah, Let me just go and get the cakes. Yeah, I think She's Carol's, not a baker. Carol's so, one should definitely be done by now. Yes, absolutely. Out, she should do it. Let's go. Right, okay. That's a good clue. What was you waiting for him to do, Shelley? She doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe she was waiting for him to jump up and down and go, hi, I'm ready. Hey. <laughs> I'll leave those ones like two more minutes. Okay. So this comes in, this contraption comes into four pieces. So let me just, it's bad enough trying to undo it. As you can see, never mind me trying to put it together. So there you go. Let's get a piping bag and show you how useless this thing is. So you now have to try and get them through there. Who's got you? Yeah, let's hold it that way. That might help. Let's get that in there. Who's got these? I am guilty. You're guilty I'm if you guilty. got one. Way before I work for sugar and crumbs, let yeah. me just put that out there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna push it back a little bit so I can cut it up. Who else has got one of these? Found that the rubbish as well. So let's push that in there. Have we got anything about the back, Laura? Not yet. And you got a... Oh, Judith Scott got one a few years ago and thrown it away. Yeah. Never used, it's rubbish. You know, when we talk about plastic, you know when you buy rubbish and plastic, this is waste, this is the bad waste. That not only did you waste your money on it, and we've all done it, I paid for this one as well, I had to learn the hard way, because everybody was saying, I want a coupler, I want a coupler, I want a coupler. You know, um, I bought this thinking, all oh, right, maybe this will work. But even I know that it's not going to work. So I've just fastened that on there just to make sure I've got it fastened on. And then we're going to put our nozzle in. Because this will get you a big nozzle in. Okay, so we've got it on. I've got it on much better than I have done in the past. But can you see how big that is from there to there? Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see that on there? Yeah, you moved. I have moved, Gabby. Oh, moved. where should oh, I go? You're on there now. Can you see how big that is? I mean, that's about three inches. How the hell are you going to push the buttercream through that? So you've got to put a lot of buttercream and all that there is waste. But should we give it a go? What I'm actually curious to know is, okay, but we'll do it anyhow. Uh, we, what I'm actually curious to, to tell you is, and, and, and we've done this wrong as well, is that's getting it together there. Mm. So you now go to try and get buttercream in there, there and there, spoon that in. So the only other way that you can do this properly, okay, and this is where it becomes fun. Is you then have to Take that off. Don't worry, we won't be using this when I put it together. You need three bags. So we need three bags for this contraption. So you're going to use more bags. I'm only showing you this because I'm actually sick to death people asking about it. So I'm going to show you an easier way. Has everybody got one of these, Laura? A lot of people are guilty. <laughs> you should send it back. You're entitled to your money back. Tell them that not only are they making wasteful plastic for the environment, you've had to waste your money buying it, pay postage for it, and it, the thing doesn't even work. Okay? So we've now got three bags that you've now got to try and hold together. No 
it gets better this okay because we're putting the three like that together what they ask you to do is fill them with buttercream first <laughs> first yeah but could you imagine trying to fill them with buttercream first and then hold and no. then trying to hold these together are we are we getting the message here what, what i'm trying yeah. to tell you that this is a load of crap sorry for that type of language this time of the morning but i can't think of any other word for it so let's get the nozzle on So we're on, aren't we? Yeah. So we're on. And now you've got this contraption. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? You've now got to try and hold them when they're full. <laughs> so I'm not going to waste putting my buttercream in here because you've now got to try and put the buttercream in there to get your three colours, okay? Now, in fairness, we're using small bags, which is what I recommend. But when you get those three bags together, Somehow, you've got to push it down there. Equally. Yeah. Equally. <laughs> exactly. Down there to get them through the three things, to get them through that nozzle. And as you keep squeezing and going down, you actually can't press any further than that. So all that's waste. And if anybody can do that, please come on my live and show me. Because I have had a go and it's a waste of time. So please, pass the message along. Do not buy any more of this rubbish off Gina. They bought them, brought them out for the nozzles. And they're a waste of time, okay? A complete waste of time. Do we all agree? Absolutely. Good. Can we yeah. pass the message loud and clear? Apparently, Lakeland sell a very similar design. Yeah. And they were actually giving them away as yeah. a freebie. <laughs> you understand why they're giving them away. I'm going to tell you, tell you, Lakeland sell copies of our nozzles. Yes. They'll be really upset that I've said that. Dearer than my nozzles. So you go in Lakeland, you buy a copy nozzle in there. Lakeland are not dealing with me, and I don't care if they're watching this programme, okay, because you know what they need to answer? Their whole argument is the bigger, the better, they can bully me. And because what they do is they keep sending me a letter, trying to spin me round in circles and circles, so my lawyer has to send another one back, and then it just goes on and on and on until they get a court case. Well, we'll win. We own the design rights for them. So they're selling copies, and you'll pay two ninety nine for them. Where ours are two seventy five and they're on offer at two pound now, so why not buy the original? Makes no sense to me. Um, and maybe Lakeland might want to come and have a chat with me, and hopefully not use their bully boy tactics because I have spoke to them, and hopefully they might behave themselves. Um, Job will be going mad in a minute. <laughs> Just a couple of people asking. We do sell the piping bags that Carol's using. Yeah. They are from you the Queen of Hearts range. Um, so you can pop them on. Uh, go over to Sugar and Crumbs. Oh. Um, you'll be able to find them either under the Queen of Hearts range or just type in piping bags. We've got these ones and we've also got the Simply Making ones as well, um, which Carol has previously used in some of the previous Facebook lives. But these are the Queen of Hearts range. So just to show you, Belly was, uh, Belly, Shelly was doing, uh, <laughs> Shelly was doing hand signals. Like, what's she doing hand signals at me for? She's like this. <laughs> Basically, she's trying to tell me they're over there cooling down. So I'm just going to open one up so you can see how lovely and light they are. Look at them. They're gorgeous. They're so lovely. Sorry, which camera are we on, Lauren? <laughs> on that one. Are we on this one? Yeah. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Beautiful. Yeah. Do you want one? Yeah. <laughs> of course, they. Oh my God. They taste good. Thank you. One more, Shannon. Thank you. These taste of vanilla. Perks of the job. Ooh. These are gorgeous. Forget the buttercream. Just put the plain nice sugar in. <laughs> oh my God. They're so fluffy, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, they're really, really light. Um, Nicola, the ice and sugar 500 gram bags are currently in the sale at £2 a bag, every flavour. So pop over to Sugar and Crumbs, the sale runs until midnight Sunday, um, so get them while you can. Um, Jane, we don't sell a couple for the nifty nozzles, um, simply because we show you so many different techniques of how to do the two-toning and using them, etc. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this one in a minute. So we've got this colour in here, okay. And we're going to colour this bag, colour this bag, we're going to decorate this cake. So I'll just show you again the technique. Sorry if you can hear me and Shelly tune in the background, but we are really enjoying these. They're good them, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Tell you, make, okay. vanilla, make vanilla fudge yeah. cupcakes, they're delicious. Yeah. I know I sound surprised, but I am surprised. Only because I haven't used that flavour, God, since I probably made it. 
Victoria, just a beautiful texture. Wow, they really are. They're so yeah, light and soft. They're gorgeous. Yeah. They are. Mm. Nice. I'm never going to get slim here. Me neither. Right, okay then. So this one, all I've done here is I put two colours in and then I put my palette knife in and twisted it. So I'm just going to show you again onto the cake. So onto the cake, squeeze, relax, off. Squeeze, relax, off. I'm just here laughing to myself. I'll be getting a, a nasty email from Lakeland tomorrow, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> Naughty though, isn't it, Adam? Yeah. I don't care. Um, just a very quick comment. Linda, you need to ring the office. I'm not back in the office today, so I can't help you with adding stuff to your order from last night. But the sooner you ring the office, the better chance you've got that it hasn't been processed. I can't confirm because the warehouse, You're doing team, alive. <laughs> the warehouse team are working so hard to get orders out as quick as they physically can. And I am not in the office, so I can't check for you. So the best thing to do is give them a quick call and they will check for you and let you know. Mm, yeah. Um, if you want to see if anyone are calling, the office is 0161 393 5056. That probably would have helped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Laura's with me all day today because we've got loads of things to do. So that one there was the carnation. Sorry, I whipped that one out pretty quick. So what we're going to do now is, so let's say you've done your, your bags and you want to change this one now. You want to use this colour. So you've done as many cupcakes as you want. So all you need to do is chop that off. Let's get a bag at another bag. Chop that off. Drop in another nozzle. So you've done all your cupcakes in one colour, but you want to just carry on with the same colour. Far faster than the way we've done it before. And there you go. You know faffing around trying to unscrew. And we'll just get another cupcake. Let me decorate that one. Those mini foil cases are gorgeous colours as well. Aren't they pretty then? Look at them. Mm. They are lovely. £1.49 for 100 You can't complain at that. You can't buy them cheaper than anywhere anywhere no. else. I'm sure they're meant to be £2 something. But uh, I put them on at 1.49, so do make sure you grab some. So what we're going to do then, we're going to sit the nozzle onto the cake, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. Yep. And then, uh, where's my leaf tip? Put the leaves in. Yeah, don't leave them without leaves. They just don't look right, yeah. seriously. Really finishes them off. I did say to a lady at the weekend, you know, put your leaves on. Unfortunately, she delivered them already. So that's the two same colours there from the same bag. How quickly it was just to yeah. drop it. Yeah. <coughs> and then the other thing is, if your bag, I cut this bag too short deliberately earlier because I wanted to show you. So some of you might cut your bag so it's halfway like yeah. that. All right. So when it's halfway like that, you are putting added pressure on. But what you need to do is just keep an eye on it. So when it starts stretching to there, just cut another bag and drop the whole lot in the bag. Don't let it pop out. So don't think oh, I've ruined it, but just keep squeezing it, watching it. And as the bag, bag stretches throughout the day, just then open another bag, drop it in. Yeah. So let's show you what this one looks like. So you yeah, have got buttercream there, you can reuse that, don't worry about that. So, uh, got the sniffles. Them cakes are nice, aren't they, they girls? Yeah. Oh yeah, I bet, we sell, I bet we sell loads of vanilla fudge. I tell you, I bet you'll come back and say it's nicer than salted caramel, because mm -hmm. I'm sure it is. It's delicious. So this one is called the Rose Cup. So again, we're on the mini foil here. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. Get your leaf tip. So there really is no other technique to the leaf tip apart from making sure that you're holding it with the mouth, we call it the mouth open. Um, if you hold it the wrong way around, you're not going to get a leaf out of it. 
<laughs> now you see here, you've got the swirls all yeah. the way around. It's called the rose cup. See there, missed it, haven't I? Ah, right, okay. So that's because I didn't sit it on the centre. So don't ruin that. You can drop a pearl in there if you want to. Or you can just go straight back onto it, squeeze, relax. Brilliant. Up, yeah. So you don't feel that you have to knock it off. So what else was I going to show you today? Because we've got all this buttercream. What else do I need to show you? Show us specifically leaves so I can get a really close yeah, up. Yeah, I'm showing you right. two-tone and triple tone. That's what we're going to do as well. So let's do the leaves. Okay, let's do them on here. Now I use the, free, the Wilton 352. And I also use the Big Mama one as well for bigger cakes called... It's not called Big Mama, that's my name for it. Um, can you see on there clearly, Laura? Yeah. So if I just put a little bit of buttercream on there, yeah, can you I see that? Just so there's your cake. So I wouldn't normally do it on the worktop, but it just means that you can see it. Let me put a little bit more buttercream into my mix, into my tip. You'll see I've got two colours going in here as well. I'll show you how to two-tone in a minute on another nozzle and I'll show you how to triple tone. So I do hope you all support nifty nozzles. Don't be supporting those Chinese copies. Um, I know some of you think that I'm just going on about it and you can't afford, you can't afford it, you can only afford to buy cheap. And cheap works perfectly well. You know, cheap does work perfectly well, but they haven't followed the rules and the guidelines of uh, bringing a product to market. I will tell you as well, when you're bringing in products that are cheap, that are coming in from um, China as well, you're generally not paying for unemployment. You're losing somebody a job. You're also um, not paying VAT because those, those suppliers don't charge VAT. They send them in via customs and they, they don't actually put what their real worth is. So the government's losing out on money then as well. And you know, all that money that I know some of us Think the government gets too much money and we're not going to go into that side of thing but we do need it don't we we need it for our hospitals our teaching our roadworks we need it so you're depriving that as well but the biggest thing that you are doing is you're hurting the per the poor person who actually brought the product to market for you yeah and uh so what we're going to do is we're going to do a leaf so on there squeeze and relax can you see that close yes. enough laura yeah so with this leaf tip here can you see there mouth open yeah yeah, don't have it this way. So it's got to be mouth open. So we're just gonna sit it on there, squeeze, that's a little baby leaf. We can do even tinier than that. And I think we can even do tinier than that. But then we can do bigger, and we can do bigger, and we can do the ripple one. If you want to. You can do bigger, 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 bigger. We can do a little medium one. Can you see those okay? Yeah, perfect. If I do it that way, a little one, bigger one, bigger. You can do this one. Yeah. Don't do this. This is what people do. Give it no body. Yeah. Or well, they do this. Who recognises them? <laughs> On the end of the flowers. Do we recognise them? <laughs> Shelley, you're laughing. I've done that before. Then, <laughs> then, <laughs> right, okay. So, are you enjoying this live, everyone? Yeah, absolutely loving it here. Right, now I've got some more nozzles here, I think, to use. So, let's show you how to triple tone. So, we're using Can the Can we have tuna. a recap, sorry, of the nozzles we've used so far? Is that all yeah, right? Okay. Let me get my cloth. So all the nozzles are beautiful. You won't go wrong with any of them. You do make me laugh. You want to know the names of them and everything. Just buy them. They're great. <laughs> so this one that we've used here is called Rose Cup. Yeah? You yep. see that? And the Rose Cup was this one. Yep. Got it? Perfect. So we've used that one. We've also used Scented Tulip. Always have a cloth as well. So we've used scented tulip. And that's that one there. Can you see? Yeah. Scented tulip. Mm. 
We've used jasmine. Yep. And jasmine was there as well. Yep. Yeah. And then we've used May Tulip. There's May Tulip. Oh, I cut May Tulip out before, didn't I? No, that's a carnation. There's May Tulip. So this is the one that we did with the shrink wrap, the uh, cling film. I'll just wipe the top off. So you can see. And there's the May Tulip. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You can see it there uh, again yeah. on the mini. Got all those. Right, then we're going to use this one. This is a seven petal rose. It's pretty, this one. So let's get some more cupcakes. Laura's got to work here today. So you know what we're going to be doing all day, don't you? <laughs> Eating those warm cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, she's not in the office today. She's got to work here all day. So after the live, we've got to clean up and we've got to finish off all these flavoured ice and sugars that we've got to do. So we're going to squeeze onto the cake. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Mm, yeah. Squeeze, relax. Can you see that? Yeah. Squeeze, okay. relax. Squeeze, relax. Get our lead tip. You got it? Yeah. Or do I have to do it again? No, it's fine. And this is the seven petal rose. And the other thing that China does, which is really naughty, not only do they steal your designs, they're cheeky, they steal your images as well. So you'll see all these images, and they're actually, a lot of them are Alexander's or my images. They even steal our videos. So whenever you see the pink nails, <laughs> darkened skin, okay, you'll usually find it's my, my video. Let's report loads of them. So keep reporting away because I'm very proud of you for reporting them. Found a new tool how to get rid of people because so far we're up to 8,000 people that we've kicked off Amazon. Can't kick them all. We're doing the same with eBay as well. Wish are very good. We, we delete off there. AliExpress and Alibaba don't care. They say they're going to do something, but they don't. Um, so squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. When I say relax, just loosen your fingers. Doesn't mean lie down. <laughs> squeeze, relax. Now I've got a hole there. See that? Mm -hmm. and that's what you do. Just go back on, squeeze, relax, and we're back on again. Pop in the leaves. And you don't see them doing demos, do you? How many demos have I done for you lot on Nifty Nuzzles? How many shows do I go to and show you how to use Nifty Nuzzles? By the way, we are at a show in Germany, in Dortmund. I almost fell over his top heavy to lean him up there. Uh, we're going to Germany in a couple of weeks. So funny because um, John Maria and I, uh, Maria, no, John and Maria are learning German. Laura and I have opted out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not learning it. So, anybody who's going to Germany, trial Laura and Maria, uh, Maria and John out. Yeah. We can't wait. <laughs> so, we're going there for the bank holiday weekend. When are we going, Laura? Is it the 3rd, 4th and 5th that we're there? I don't know where I or am is it? what day. No, I don't know where we are. But anyway, we're there, we're there for that show. And the reason we're going to that show is because they support brands. So, what are the ones yes. we're going to do here? We are the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th. Yes. Super. So we're all off to there. So let's two-tone now. Let's get another bag. And let's two-tone. So you get your nozzle. I haven't got all the nozzles out. I don't see there's any point getting them all out. But let's two-tone. So let's cut the bag. Yeah. So we're going to cut the bag. And this is the way that I two-tone and triple-tone. So this one, we're actually going to just triple tone it. And that means we're going to put three colours in. So I hold the, knot, the bag in my hand. And I get the colour. 
and I'm just going to do this. I find this so far easier than the cling film mm. method. But the cling film method, I do understand, is great for people who've got arthritic hands or they've got a bit of a disability with their hands, they struggle. Because um, some people can't hold the bag like that and I get, I get it. Yeah. And we're going to pop the yellow in. Which camera are we at, Laura? I'm clicking between both at the moment. Oh, are you? Yep. Just so I can see in the bag and I can see you. So you can see. Doesn't matter if it gets a little bit mushed up. The main the thing is, it's mainly, oh, it smells so good, this stuff. So, yeah. You wouldn't believe I was the owner of the company, would you? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we're going to put in, I think we'll put, um, I think we will. I think we'll go mad and put green in. Make it a bit <laughs> go <different>. mad. <laughs> you <Yeah>. devil. <laughs> and, uh, so brave, isn't it? So we'll put this in, green in, in the middle. Let's put this in. And then I'm going to finish off and show you how to make the buttercream. Okay? Now I do do classes. I do make, I do do nifty nozzles classes. I think my next nifty nozzle class is the 8th of June, is it Laura? I will be doing some more nifty nozzle classes. They're not on the website yet. Um, I'm trying not to do any classes in July and August if I can, simply because um, I've got something wrong with my leg and I'm hoping that when I see the specialist and he, I have a feeling he's going to tell me I'm going to have, a, have to have an operation because it's my legs and my hips and my knee. If he does tell me I have to have an operation, I want to be able to have that free time. So that's why I've not put any classes on for July and August, but I put them back on for September. So that's what I'm hoping to happen. So we've got a class on the 8th of June, so I don't know if it's fully booked, I possibly don't know. it is. Uh, yeah, potentially. And we've got a cupcake bouquet class on the 27th of April, now that is fully booked. And I think we've just put in the last place for the one on the, there's another one, 2nd of, of June. June. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, so here we go. So this is the triple tone. So I've just squeezed it there. So just, you don't have to keep squeezing it. I would use it, but I want to wait till we get to that green, which we have done. So that you can see it. So one in the middle. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Oh, that's like a really tropical effect, that, yeah, with the it's green. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. I was brave with that green. Yeah. It's a nice green, this. Mm -hmm. It's a fractal green. So I'm using a combination of colour splash and fractal. All the fractal range is suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and they're all kosher certified as well for a halal. That's suitable for a kosher diet and they're halal certified. So there we go. Gorgeous. Yeah, I think we're done, are we? Yeah. I'll just do one more on this one. And if you want to do the double tone, all you're doing is just putting two colours in. Yeah. Simple. Uh, so the buster cream, there's no particular recipe other than the fact that it's, we do 500 grams, which is a bag of our flavoured icing sugar to um, half the amount of butter which is 250 grams depend as long as it is butter we for buttercream we only recommend using butter um, if it's too stiff and um, you can add if some people do make it with condensed milk some people add a splash of milk and some people add um, cold boiled water now that all totally depends on your environment in terms of temperature um, you'll notice if it's very, very warm, then obviously it's going to be pretty soft, so you might need to stiffen it up a little bit. And then alternatively, if it's really cold, you might need to loosen it a little bit. It totally depends on your environment that you're in. If you're in an overseas country, for example, but our, it's a basic buttercream recipe that we use with the flavoured icing sugar and the nifty nozzles. There is no difference at all. Um, the the um, buttercream when you're using the nifty nozzles, a lot of people think it either has to be very, very soft or very, very fir firm, and that's not true either way. It has to be a medium consistency. You have to be able to pipe it easily out of the tube. So if it's too firm, you are gonna struggle because you're using far too much pressure to try and get that design out of the nozzle. And if it's too loose, if it's too soft, it's not going to hold its shape. So don't get confused thinking it needs to be a preference of firm or soft. That's not the case at all. 
Um, there's no preferred brand of butter, to be honest. We use supermarket owned brand more often than anything. We use adult, ad, adult, <laughs> Aldi, and Lidl. You, I was say, you're catching my bug, <laughs> yeah, Laura, there. Clearly. Um, <laughs> we use Aldi, we use Lidl, we use Tesco, we use Morrison's. There's no preference, to be quite honest with you. So guys, I've licked my fingers there. You know how it is. What goes <laughs> on in the Sugar and Grums kitchen stays in the Sugar and Grums kitchen. But I just couldn't afford that bit to be wasted. Yep. It's just so nice. We're using uh, vanilla last, no, fudge. vanilla fudge we're using today. And I have to tell you, it's amazing. I'm so amazed. I can't believe we're using I haven't been using it before. Um, vegan, so um, as a butter supplement, there are quite a few that are available on the market now. Stop block, is yeah. that for vegans? There's more, there are more and more brands now that are available. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people who are watching today or on the Sugar and Crumbs community that will be able to help you out because I know we have not only people who bake um, at home, but we have people who bake for obviously their own businesses and cafes and things. And I know of at least one or two um, who do vegan baking. So there will definitely be people that are able to recommend the best brand for you. So this last little nozzle I'm going to show you is called the Mini Mrs. Whippy. There is um, a Mini Leonetta as well. So you don't really need buttercream coating on here. So all we're going to do is we're going to squeeze, 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 and twist off. You'll see there's no hole in the middle, okay? This is because you're using the genuine article. Don't be looking for those things that you have to do a bit of a dance to. Twisty, whatever it's called. Yeah. And then you have to roll the nozzle. It's a load of rubbish. Basically, they mucked up. They tried to copy one of our products, couldn't copy it well enough, and it left a dirty big hole in the middle. So they tell you to fill it with sprinkles and a cherry. It's rubbish. Again, wasting your money and you're buying a copy. So I'll just show you that one again. I know I always go on about copies, but I'm very much about protecting the brand. And you should be as well. Think about it if your husband asked you to remortgage your house, to invest into a product, to put it on market, follow all the European rules for selling it, Buy, buy all the machinery, everything, and then your next door neighbour starts knocking them out the garden shed cheap. It's not good. So there we go. Squeeze. And relax. Can you see that lovely pink colour? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Do you want me to do that again? Yes, please. Now the pink's coming through. Now the, bit, oh, only now the pink's coming through. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So just all you're going to do is squeeze. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> This is nice on big cakes. This one, so um, you know if you wanted to, you know if you wanted to go around the top of your big cake, yeah, just do you know all the little blobs all yeah. the way around. So do you want me to quickly show you the buttercream? How to make the buttercream before we go? Because then we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Shelley was showing me this bowl before, and I couldn't understand why she was showing me the bowl. But now we now realise why. So we're going to quickly make the buttercream. Shelley, what is it you want to do? I just have to need. I need a few. I need, I need that. Um, Right, okay. I need to put this in the microwave 30 seconds. So your butter there, can you feel it? Well, you can't feel it, but I can feel it. It's too hard, okay? Yeah. So it's got to be softer than that. It's got to be room temperature. So I'm just going to bung this in the microwave for 20 seconds. Hold on. Um, so, yeah, it is a couple. I know someone asked this question before about whether it's salted or unsalted butter. It is personal choice. Uh, we use unsalted, but it is totally personal choice. Everyone has their own reasons for whether it's salted or unsalted. Um, anyone who's just joined us, the recipe for the cupcakes that we've made today is available on the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up website. Um, all of our previous recipes that we've done from our lives, there they are in the you gorgeous mini right cases. Um, so all the previous recipes that we've done before are all on the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up website. We have used vanilla flood, <laughs> fudge as our flavour of choice. I know. Vanilla fudge as our flavour of choice today, but you can use any flavour of the icing Look sugar. Look how lovely they, they are. They are gorgeous. The and texture the is with, amazing. You know the good thing with foils, they don't peel away. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So look how they are. Look how lovely that is. Gorgeous. Yeah. Look how nice that tastes. And I, I, I was about to say, they taste just as good as they look. They taste really good. Angela McKenzie says, right, who's going to be receiving all those lovely cupcakes? <laughs> well, we don't sell them. No. And because it's being made in the kitchen here, and I've touched my hair and touched the worktop, touched my top, unfortunately for you, you won't be getting one. But Laura, Maria, Shelley, and the warehouse lads can have them. 
Because they're quite happy. Um, so just a couple of questions. The last nozzle that was used was the Mini Mrs. Whippy. Um, Maureen Bailey says, Carol, can you use the small nozzles with double cream that has come up to a piping consistency? Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I know quite a few people have done it on cheesecakes, for example, yeah. um, or just as a decoration on, um, for example, if you've done a brownie and you just want to top it um, with a bit of double cream. And do remember, you can flavour your cream with the icing sugar as well. So we've had a lot of guests on who have done that. So you actually make your flavour and um, flavoured cream using the natural flavoured icing sugar. And it is absolutely delicious. And um, the reason why cases pull away Okay, so there's a couple of reasons. It's either because um, they've been left in the tin too long when they've, been, when they've come out of the oven. So the steam reacts to the cold air, the heat from directly from the oven and the tin reacts to the cold air and it basically creates like a steam effect. So they naturally will pull away because they're paper. Um, people the also say... Is, put them straight onto a worktop, not yes. onto a baking tray. Yeah, so it's basically the temperature, the sudden change in temperature. They're just paper and that's why they will, pull, you know, they will pull away. Um, a lot of people say as well, the cheaper brands, they do pull away. I don't know, because I normally only use the ones that we make. We have at Sugar and Crumbs, so I don't know. These are cheap. <laughs> £1.49 for Cheap in price, but they're good. Yeah. They're good quality. Uh, I got these on on special for you guys. I've not put them on the sale. This is, I got a really good deal on these. So I'm passing that deal on to you. You can't get 100 <coughs> cupcake cases for £1.50, seriously. It's getting me dinner you can't get them for that, but they are the lovely colours. Have a look at them, they're in the wish list. By the way, Laura, tell them where the wish list is. Oh yeah, so if you head over to the Sugar and Crumbs website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, at the very top, go all the way across to the right hand side and go to Facebook Live, and drop down to this month and look for Nifty Novels by Carol, um, and you'll see there the Facebook Live wish list. So everything that's been used today, the mini foils, the colour splash gels, the fractal gels, um, the nozzles that have been used all in the wish list so you'll be able to find them really really easily rather than trying to troll through the whole page so and these these are 200 for 6.99 they're an absolute bargain they're lovely so and we do them in the caramel the brown and the lotus so the butter is now gone in the mixer okay now i would normally mix this a lot longer so that it's white but I haven't got time really, but I just want you to see how soft it is. Can you see? Yeah. So it needs to be lovely and soft. So you do need to have it at room temperature or you need to put it in the microwave. So this is butter, not margarine. So it's the consistency of margarine once you've done this. You can't use, mar we can use margarine for the nozzles, but they don't hold very well because margarine um, doesn't go hard and you need it to go hard for the flour to hold. So is that my bag of icing sugar? What did we do with my bag of icing sugar? Yeah, do you want another one? Over there. So I'm only going to make one bag, but when you're using the um, when you are using the nozzles, okay, make sure that you make a minimum of a kilo. So that's two slabs of butter, 250 grams, that's 500 grams of butter, and you need a kilo of icing sugar. Now with the flavoured icing sugar, I like it full strength. Okay, so I would put two bags of these in and that's what I've done this morning. Some people like it milder, so you can put one bag of flavoured in and one bag of plain in. Okay, how far does it go? All right, so I get this message all the time. How far does one bag of icing sugar go? Well, it goes the same same for, for distance as a normal bag of icing sugar. All right, it also depends what you're putting on it. So if you're only going to put these flowers on it, you're going to get a lot more than you are when you put that many on, yeah? And the size of your cake and the size of your rose swirls. So it's a very difficult question for me to answer that when people say to me, how far will it go? Will it crumb coat an eight, ounce, uh, an eight inch cake? Absolutely. So if you've got an eight inch cake and you want to put some in the middle of the cake and crumb coat it, yes. If you want to do it thick and then do a design on top, no, you'll need, to, you'll need another bag. So all we're doing is we're chopping in and I'll get myself a clean spatula. But we haven't put Something anything in the butter. It goes it goes very, very pale the more you beat it. Yeah. So anyone who's been on Carol's classes will know 
the more you beat that butter, it, the paler it goes. It does go very, very pale, almost yeah. white. I'm not going to do it here because it needs to go in the mixer for a yeah. few minutes. And I'm sure you don't want to hear, hear the mixer go for ages. So we'll just put a little guard. Yeah. And then we'll turn it on. So we'll get that going. And that's as simple as it is, okay? If you want, and it's winter, when it's winter and it's really cold, you'll find that even though you've melted the butter, it will harden up very quickly again. So you can add a dash of water, a dash of um, condensed milk, um, you can add normal milk, or you can add fresh cream. It's entirely up to you. And when I say a dash, I mean a tablespoon. Yeah, so we're just gonna mix that up. And you can see it there, can't you? Yeah. It's all mixed. Laura. I don't know, how's our audience today audience for a Wednesday? Audience is great, actually, for a Wednesday, yeah. yeah. Absolutely brilliant. People watching on the lunch breaks. So yes, there has been it. a few people commenting to say I'm, I'm on the lunch or whatever, <laughs> yeah. Great. And we do want to try and get back and do lives again on, on a daytime session, but I think they're going to have to be a bit of an impromptu one, yeah. simply because it's time permitting. Yeah. So there you go. So I will just show you that there. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Once you put your icing sugar in, don't overbeat it. So did you see I only had it on for a minute? Yeah, just until so, it's combined. Absolutely. So beat the butter to death. Beat the living daylights out of the butter. And as Laura said before, there's no preference. You can use salted or unsalted. It's entirely up to you. You can use an expensive butter or you can use a cheap butter. We only use a cheap butter because we use our flavoured icing sugar. So we don't really need it to taste of anything. We want the flavoured icing sugar to taste it. So beat the living daylights out of the butter. You can add a tablespoon of milk, water, condensed milk or fresh cream if you want to. It's really entirely up to you. Um, and then you add in your flavoured icing sugar and you mix it for a minute and that's it. Because it needs to be, can you see that smoothness? Yeah. You don't want any bubbles. If you've got bubbles, you beat it too long. And if you've got bubbles, you need to put them in your bowl and you need to paddle them out. So you put them in your bowl and you have to keep using a paddle to smooth out all the air bubbles. So I think that's us done. Yeah. We're going to have a scoff. Quick <laughs> short on Facebook Live there. So basically, it was just to tell you that our sugar and crumbs um, sale has now started. So all our sugar and crumbs, 500 gram bags, are two, two pounds each. Uh, we are not at Cake International, we're not going, and we've done the sale simply because when we're at Cake International, we always offer everybody a bargain when they come. I'm sorry for you guys who are going to miss us, because I know lots of you love the banter on the stand, you love seeing the girls, but we are in Germany, if you want to come to Germany and see us, <laughs> we are there. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't that be so funny, if you lot popped yeah, up in Germany. <laughs> but we are in Germany for the May Bank Holiday Weekend. Um, so the sale has started now on our own products, the sugars, and on our own product, the Nifty Nozzles, the genuine Russian piping tips. I hope you've enjoyed this demo today, and I hope I've taught you a few things, and I will see you on Monday with our live with Catalina Angel. And if you want to get this product in already, it's called Pasta de Flor. It's a beautiful product. It's very, very reasonable, and it's for making your sugar flowers. Okay, it's not for modeling. It's for making your flowers with. So for all of you who want to make flowers with this, grab it because it's amazing stuff. And Catalina is going to show you how to use it. And I am going to post a picture afterwards of Margaret Ellis using it. Um, Georgie Godbold absolutely loves it as well. Um, Marion Frost wasn't so keen on it, okay? So she wasn't keen, she's keen on it for her cutters. But for flowers, it's amazing. And I'll post a picture that Margaret Ellis has done. I don't think there's anything else for me to say, is there, Laura? No, 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 no questions. Anything? No, absolutely yeah. not. Get it all, did you? Yes. Great. Lots of thank Bye. yous. Thank you, everyone, for watching. It's much appreciated. And we'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.